So you mentioned he had a fifth gear problem and uh, what do we find? Well, yeah, there's not much left of that fifth gear. So um, yeah, no wonder why it wasn't working. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is pull the drive line off. Um, up there, he's working on pulling the transmission um, shift lever off. All right, so here we are working on pulling the boot off. We already got the center console and we got the shift lever and it also it, it disconnects down underneath um, there's some linkage you have to undo and then it just comes out with the with these two bolts here and then we're just gonna pull this lever off so we can get to the top of the transmission all right so we got both drive lines out got the rear and the front and I'm just working on um, the bolts on the back of the transfer case. There are probably five or six, I can't remember how many there are on the back here. They're a little difficult to get to, but um, if you have a swiveling wrench, that works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and then we can slide the transfer case out. Did he, did he get this all right, so all the bolts are out and there's just one more thing. We have to pull off the transfer case the um, vacuum lines from up here and then it will be good to go we can just pull it right out right so we got transfer case maneuvered out of place uh, the next thing we have to do here is get the skid plate out and I completely forgotten it's been a while since I've done this job but you have to these are really tricky to come out you can't just pull them out the best way that I know is to spread the frame with the bottle jack and the skid plate will just drop right out the bottom. So we're gonna go to AutoZone and uh, grab a bottle jack and uh, spread this frame. Here we are two days later. Uh, we did end up getting the tranny out on Thursday, but we found some issues. That there were some differences in the transmission. So. I, but I believe we can just swap out basically the top cover and the shift forks all came out and then we put those on the new one and then the input shaft since it was an upgraded input shaft to a larger size. But let me show you the old transmission. So you mentioned he had a fifth gear problem and uh, what do we find? Well, yeah, there's not much left of that fifth gear. So um, yeah, no wonder why it wasn't working. And we also found some pieces which are down in that bucket somewhere. Um, yep. All right, so we got just about everything ready to go back in. These are, t the top bolts are tight. Um, this will be done at the very end when we, we fill it with fluid. Uh, we drained it and um, we greased the splines. I know that looks like a little bit overkill, 
but this will be where it slides in and out for the um, the clutch engage and disengage so I'd rather have too much than not enough grease so I think right now we are just about ready to put this thing back in the truck all right, so one more step here I'm going to do before we throw the transmission back in is I am going to put grease on the, the shaft. It's a little hard to see in the, or the, the, um, the bearing part of the part that slides in and out. This is the um, hydraulic mechanism there. I'm going to put some grease on there and then hopefully I'm going to try to get some grease back on the spline, the spline so I can, so hopefully everything will just uh, be nice and um, greased when we put it back together. So we got the transmission pretty much ready to go. We got it uh, on the jack. We're gonna roll it around and hopefully uh, we'll get it lined up and then it'll go right in. But that could be the next chore is getting that, getting this the shaft to line up. So let's go. <laughs> update for you guys so somehow the splines came uh, unaligned so we have to go get an alignment tool and the reason I couldn't I have a stock one for the stock size shaft but this is not stock it's the upgraded to uh, one and three eighths so um, the stock one wouldn't work but what I had to do is I had to loosen the clutch and I'm gonna we're hopefully gonna get one from AutoZone today uh, get the, the right alignment tool so that we can align this and then the splines will go in because we fought this for probably about an hour or more probably more just trying to get the splines in and then of course we couldn't so um, that's what's going on all right so great news here we got the transmission in after messing with the input shaft for a while, I was able to use the old input shaft and uh, get everything lined up. So we got the transmission in, I'm just getting ready to uh, get this uh, skid plate back in. So yeah, let's go ahead and spread the frame and get this thing back together. So we got transmission bolted down and the skid plate in place and so we are just about ready to uh, start with the transfer case. Alright, we got front and rear driveline in, obviously transfer case, transmission. The only other thing I have to do under here is hook up the vacuum lines, the red, white and black. Uh, it's really easy to mess up the the right place, and if you if you get them wrong, it won't really cause any problems. Although, what it will do is it'll mess up your four wheel drive because the module on the top of the transfer case is what gives you four wheel drive. So, the white is what comes from the engine, and the red and black are sucking, and then neutral or whatever. And then we're just about done with this. He's just finishing uh, putting the boot needs to go on and then uh, the shift lever and then we'll be just about ready to go.
uh, fighting this tranny. We finally got it back in the truck. Uh, everything is running amazing. The transmission shifts well. And uh, the truck is, uh, it's an old truck, it still has its issues, but at least we got the transmission issue fixed and uh, should keep them rolling for a while. So as you can see, I'm pretty filthy. I'm ready to go home, take a shower, uh, hopefully not have to work on this truck for a while. Sorry about the videos not being uh, super detailed in this one, but hopefully you get the idea of how to pull the transmission and put it back in. Uh, of course, there's a lot that I didn't say, but hopefully you guys can fill in what I didn't. And I mean, a lot of it is pretty intuitive. With all that was going on and, and uh, the time crunch that we had, it's just, it always takes a little extra time to film. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.